the 25-year-old pocket rocket racer, stuntman, professional scooter rider, punk rock, hip-hop, indie pop artist known as Oliver Tree has ascended to success that feels overnight. But that's not half of the story. I mean, what makes this post-80s child so special than every other musician on the face of the earth, other than his most iconic bowl cut? Oliver Tree's recent rise to fame can be attributed to his first hit single, When I'm Down, posted two years ago. But ever since my ears were graced with such immaculate production and memorable vocals, I began to notice a trend with Oliver's presence online. He creates a persona, or possibly an extension of his true self. But the term fake is not what Oliver Tree is. So I ask myself a question, who is Oliver Tree? Born and raised in Santa Cruz, California, Oliver has been involved with music since the age of three when he was introduced to one of the most essential musical instruments, the piano. Eventually though, he seemed to grow bored with the piano and embarked on a journey that would form a major part of his personality and life. He not only references this activity in almost every Instagram post, he uses it to flex on his fan base and women. You can't blame him though, he really is a scooter god in a sense. Moves like these don't just come out of thin ice, okay? They don't just come out of nowhere. These moves come from a strict six years of lessons and practice. But as they say, hard work pays off, and it did for Oliver, as he is able to utilize his scooter skills to progress his humor, music, and followers. His scooter not only makes him a more interesting character, but it further pushes the mystery of who Oliver Tree really is. During middle school, Oliver Tree would often write and record his own songs for fun. This talent transferred to a band that he became a part of around the same time in his life. The band name was Irony, and Oliver contributed by singing and playing the guitar, but by the time he was in high school, he focused on becoming a DJ and performing in a rap group, right? Cause that's cooler. Oliver's friend and accomplice in the strange electronic music they made mentioned in an article that Oliver had a dream that one day he was going to shoot a music video with a monster truck, and he was writing it, which one day would come true, but that's later in his career. Before he was even 18, Oliver had performed for artists such as Zed's Dead, Nero, and Skrillex. Skrillex! The, like, the EDM god, pretty much? Just, just, you know, before he's even 18. He was then inspired to release his own music under the name Tree, which was his middle name. He initially released songs independently, his debut album being Splitting Branches, a sound so different and unknown to the artist we know now. It's hard to comprehend that this serious artist could ever be the meme that Oliver Tree has created. Unlike Oliver's recent EP and his upcoming album, Splitting Branches is a more tame and sincere album, which really demonstrates Oliver's potential. And as some miss this era of Oliver, I think his new music is just as good. And when you put two and two together, you can start to understand who Oliver Tree really is. At the time, Oliver was attending San Francisco State University, and later he would transfer to the California Institute of the Arts. After his education, he was going to execute his master plan of becoming Oliver Tree. Many influencers rise to fame from posts that lack meaningful substance, or sometimes any substance at all. Many of these people go on to expand their brand, or at least try to usually in the form of singing, and these people often fail. I mean, have you seen Genius recently? Oliver Tree is a prime example of a 21st century star who did the opposite, as he has always had the talent and a genuinely interesting sound. Oliver moved to Los Angeles to study at CalArts in 2016, which would be the same year his song When I'm Down in collaboration with Wethin would go viral. He would also move in with the Suh dudes, one of them being the comedian Nick Coletti, 
and the other an American DJ called Getter. These two would soon become Oliver Tree's great friends, and their song together, Forget It, would also become popular that year. But the real crowning achievement for Oliver was the popular Vine, where he played the character of Turbo. What's up? My name's Turbo. I'm 32 years old. I love to dance, and I sell ecstasy to children at raves. Hit me up. This short Vine was the birthplace of the persona of Oliver Tree that the internet would eventually fall in love with. Oliver found plenty of success on Vine and other social media, playing the character Turbo with a few other of his comedian friends. Outside of his character-driven sketches, though, he would have to act himself in interviews and other media appearances. I mean, wouldn't he have to? I mean, he has to act like a normal person, right? But whenever given the opportunity, Oliver will always put his spin on things. His first glimpse of fame came from a satirical Vine character, so why not become one? He decided he would play the part of a satirical, spoiled, meme-making musician, blurring the lines between an epic meme and whoever Oliver Tree Nickel is. Scrolling through Oliver's Instagram is a blast, I must say. I mean, it's great. It's the type of humor woke and non-woke individuals can stare at and laugh together. Whether it's a scooter trick or one of the many images of Oliver in a bath filled with a lot of one thing. I mean, it's entertaining, hell it really is. And when clout attacks is one of the funniest skits ever to exist. Yes. I mean, Oliver really figured it out. He's like a genius or something. Oliver has used YouTube more recently to create videos documenting the process of music videos, tours, and parties. It continues the persona of the meme-making machine, reaching climactic moments, and it creates a world where his humor and his musical talent clash. And, I mean, he clearly does act the part of an annoying kid. This is ten times too big. There's no way I'm gonna fit in this. Sorry. Where's the br Brendan? What? Brendan. It's pretty big. There's no way I'm gonna fit in this. I think it might be a metric system. I ordered a small red jacket, dude. This is way too... I'm gonna look like a f***ing joke, dude. Okay, this definitely does not fit. Who sent in the sizes? It's metric, dude. Who sent in the sizes, dude? This is way too big. This is not gonna work for the video. I look ridiculous! This suit is three times too big! I can't wear this for the fucking video! I can't wear this for the fucking video, dude! Turn the camera off. The most interesting part of all of this to me is the fact he subtly references his character change in his lyrics. Baby, you're a liar. Well, maybe I'm a liar too or his constant comparisons of himself being an alien, meaning he is different to his competition, and he knows that. But more importantly, Oliver knows he has changed since he became this persona. But he worked so hard to accomplish his success, and unlike many other artists, he is comfortable with who he has become. Oliver has left the trail of breadcrumbs for people to follow, and people like a mystery and they most certainly like some musical bangers. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Subscribe if you want to. And it has been a while, that's for sure. Six months to be exact. But I'm back for good, and I'm glad I am. A lot of work put into this video, and I'm glad that I'm finally here. I've been through three different scripts of different videos and I haven't liked any, and I don't necessarily have any good excuse for being gone for so long, but excuses aside, I'll see you in the next video.